Swanson! You hear, Reverend? Mr. Morgan, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But seeing, I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. How's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down, then. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> He committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. And life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> In your own time. He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again and you'll find yourself in a bad time too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game after all, mister. Sometime before we all grow no, old, don't we'll get be scared. Nice. Now you're talking my language. Hmm. Hurry up, will ya? Uh, Hard lines, partner. So, what are we looking at, fellas? How do you like this? Ah, well. Ah, nice. That's the way it goes. I need your commentary, huh? I must say, you have a lot less stories than your friend did. Come on, you got this. Huh. 
good. Let's start this low for now. I'm a see you. Okay. Check. I'll check. I don't think. Check. All right, let's see him. Close one. Damn, I got lucky Damn there. It. Could have been worse. <laughs> yes. You're gonna have fun getting him home. <sighs> Here, just a little. There. Gonna start small here. I'll check. You're a pretty dull player. Shit. <laughs> Come on. Not again. Man, you're real unlucky, ain't you? Okay, okay. You're fine, just a little more. You gotta step up sometime. I check. I know, it ain't too exciting. Jesus, you play like my grandmother. Forgive me, it's all I can afford. Oh, come on, this ain't kid poker. I'ma play slow. Good. There you go. Only just. <laughs> Shit! It all counts, huh? Okay, back in it. I'll give you that one. There. Okay. Not for me. And another check. Why don't that surprise me? Call. Sure.
check. Screw it. Uh, go. I check. Here. Fine. Let's see then. Read him and weep. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I'll take it. I got very little. <laughs> Damn. Hmm. It all counts. Yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is getting too rich for me. Sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where it? Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. Just check. Uh. Come on! Uh. 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 You bastard! Going down. I'll kill you both. Pair of damn fools. now? Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. I'll take that as a yes. On uh, second thoughts, you can give me all your money, too. Okay, here, just take it. Just just please let me go. God damn fool. Reverend! Get off the damn tracks! What are you doing? I'm 
friend! It's just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. Ah. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place and wants to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Help! Help me up! Get it! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> You. What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that! There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? What? I was wondering when he'd show up. <laughs> you better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <laughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky.
What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up, then. Let's go. Before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. The bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people... Well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in, and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Yeah!
and butcher it. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. Shh, girl, won't take long. Throw that on your horse and mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay then, girl. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. I just wanted to see what attracted them. someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. All right. Lead the way. <laughs> Been dead a couple of days at least. Anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. Find anything, Arthur?
dogs haven't gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. Girl. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? Arthur, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. can talk. I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Look, more dead bison. It has to be that. Come on. Wait up. Yep. Fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <laughs> it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you <laughs> killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. <clears throat> oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could. And make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No. Oh, please, don't kill me. I've heard enough. Damn right. That's what he did. Deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later.
Let's go, girl. Okay. Oh, you did good with Sean. You wouldn't have got him without you. We saw black water. There's Pinkertons everywhere. So no getting in? I don't think so. Not for now, anyway. Really need you boys to get out there and hunt. Supplies are low. Don't you overcook this now, Pearson. Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. Thank you, Arthur. This is about my only vice these days. <laughs> Not your only vice.
Real heavy in Blackwater, Dutch. Posters of you and Jose everywhere, Trelawney said. All the more reason to stay well away for now. I got no intention of going back anytime soon. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay. <laughs> 